Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Nine. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. Uh, truth not facts on this. Okay. Somebody sent me an infographic one day, which you know those are always true, 100. percent Uh oh. Uh, it said a toddler has now shot a person in every week in America for two years straight. And I was like, wait, what? And then, then it says, yes, you read that correctly. And it had like the link. I know there was just like a nine year old who shot like a, or no, it was like a six year old who shot a nine year old or something. I yeah. Did hear about I, that. Mean, I think this is a little dated graphic. Like, I mean, it was like two years straight, like a couple of years ago, but like just the fact that at any point in time, we had a streak, a toddler k- shot someone for a hun- over a hundred weeks in a row. Number Somewhere of, in the United States. Number of days since a toddler was shot. To, since a toddler shot, not they since they were shot. Oh, wait. The They're the ones doing the shooting with the gun. I just assumed it'd be toddler on toddler crime. Oh. Because, like, you know, a toddler only has beef with other toddlers. Yeah. Like, usually they kind of depend on the parents or the adults for, like, food and stuff. So yeah. I would assume that, you know, it was like he was beefing with another toddler, wore the same diaper brand uh, as him. It brings a whole, another me- a whole meaning to who's got the juice. That's very true. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. not about the power in that situation. It's exactly. About you, you catch him over there playing patty cake with your girl, and then, you know, you got to go ahead and just get the strap. I mean. Sometimes. Sometimes when you pull out your gat. You know you like your cat when I talk about gats. I'm going to let you get it off. That's I got what, it off, dude. Get it off. Gat. Rat tat tat. Keep, keep getting it off. Yeah. Let's just make the rest. That's great what he has to think about gats. Let's just make the rest of the podcast you saying that. <laughs> gat. Have you heard about gats? What's your favorite type of gat? Have you rat tat tatted a gat? <laughs> That's all. Okay. That was good. You got out of your system? <laughs> it's almost... All right, you know, if you need a few more, you let me know. All right, I might, I might need a gap break in a couple. Yeah, I don't know, man. We live in America. Guns are legal here. Shit like this is going to happen. That's all I got to say. But it's wild, dude. Like, why, why are people letting kids have their guns? I don't think that's the case. Um, oh. I think it's just like irresponsible people allowing things to happen. I don't know. That's what I, you know. It's fine. I, I should do it. Look, your guns are legal here. What do you want? You, you saying guns shouldn't be legal? Is that what you're trying to say? Are you trying to take away my Second Amendment, right? I mean, it's the second rule they made about this country. It is the Second Amendment, right? Yeah, I guess there was five rules in the first rule, so it's technically the sixth rule they made about this country. But, like, yeah, the sixth rule they made about this country was you get to go in a gun. Yes. And we're, like, one of the only countries that let you do it. Yes. And we're on top. Yes. So I don't know what else you want. Obviously, guns equal on top. America running ish since 1992. Is that because everyone's afraid of us? I uh, you know. I'm sure it doesn't hurt. I'm sure it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to be afraid of something. It doesn't hurt that uh you know as a deterrent. If your captor knows that you you know potentially have a weapon on you, it's kind of like robbing a place in Texas. It's like you don't go in armed robbery a, 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 a like a. a you wouldn't go and arm robbery a gas station in Texas. Because they probably got a shoddy under the counter. Yeah. Not to mention somebody in the store, too. That You know, it's just it's just not a good look to do an armed robbery. Or even like a and e seems kind of, you know, iffy Yeah, in like Texas. break into somebody's house because you think they're at church. And yeah. then, like, even like if, like, the mom was home making biscuits, yeah. like, like, she's got a gat in her purse. Yeah. Just seems, you know. Seems have like you, you, you up your uh, chances of getting blasted two, on. Two part question. Sure. Um, have you ever had a gun pulled on you, not by the police? And two, have you, if not, have you encountered people that like carried guns around? See, now I can't tell. Not naming names, obviously. Yeah, no, no. See, I can't tell if you're just asking these questions because I'm black and you <laughs> think like I'm going to have like some story about like being an inner city youth. Like I know was. where you grew up. <laughs> like said, there's no, there's no, there's not really like a lot of action going on like, in, in that town. I'm just saying, I don't know if you're expecting me to say, yeah. Oh, I can remember back the, me and me and T-Bone used to run the streets. I remember <laughs> the streets of Harlem back in 1997. No, I'm just curious, like if like. Start playing the theme from Oz. 
You wear that like that little stocking cap, like a on the back. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's just like. (laughs) Um, but yeah, no. So no, I've never seen any. I've never seen anybody get shot. Um, I've never had a gun put on me. I've knives pulled on me before. Ooh, interesting. (laughs) I mean, you know. Yeah, I've never. No one's ever pulled a gun on me. I like. There was a guy that I knew that carried a gun um and he like he was like he would just he would stop by the house and, <laughs> wait what and uh, not my house okay a person's house i knew oh, he would he would okay. come there for a reason i can just and, picture you as a kid and this guy just comes in with a gun yeah. and walks into your parents no, room has a like, conversation this and guy leaves. would like show up i mean i was grown it was a friend's house and he would like come he would like come over and he would like he would just start emptying emptying out all of his pockets and like one of the things he would always put on the table was his gun and stuff and i was just like oh this this guy's just bringing guns around this was like in the early 2000s before it was like yeah, yeah, gun yeah, legal yeah. you know mm-hmm. and that was like that was kind of a unique experience for me cuz i was not around a bunch of gun toting fools yeah it like if you're not around guns a lot man you do get that that uncomfortableness around them that's true Especially yeah. when a person brings it. But honestly, like, I don't know anybody other than myself, and everybody's a wild card. For all I know, you could snap and just, like, start shooting me one day, you know? Like, if the gun was just on the table, like, you're just like, this is it. Yeah, you could just be like, oh, I lost it. Ah, you look yeah. like my, you look like my uncle. And I'd be like, I'm not <laughs> your uncle. I'm Anthony, you know? And then you just, da, 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 and I'm dead, you know? I don't know. I don't know you what never you're capable of. I mean, like, every every night when I wake up and open my door and you're standing out there with a knife, I never know if you're just going to shank me with it when I try to go to the bathroom or you're just going to let me pass. That's true, but that's different. That's just a joke. That's a running gag. Oh, it, what yeah. if you had a gun out there and I woke up and you were just it's aiming still a, a gun? running gag. Oh, okay. It's just a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just standing out here with a knife again. <laughs> I might kill you tonight. No, I won't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you never know what's gonna happen. Come on, kids, let's do a silly one. <laughs> but yeah, like I don't, I don't know. I've never. Uh, I don't want a gun to be pulled on me. I don't think. Yeah, I'm pretty cool on that as well. I feel like I've had like cops like uh, reach for them before. I've definitely. Uh, You've had a cop reach for them before? Yeah, I'd say the closest time I ever came to getting a gun pulled on me is when, like, there was, like, a Brinks truck driver and he was delivering money to a bank. Okay. And I went and I walked up to him, you know, just trying to be friendly. And I was like, oh, how, how, what's it going to take for you to let me get one of those bags in there? <laughs> you know, just like a little. Like just a like little a t- cheeky, a cheeky little inappropriate joke. Yeah. Like- and, and mind you, I was like, I don't know, probably like 20 at the time. So, you know, dad joke, whatever. And, you know, he like, first thing he did was grab his gun. First thing he did was put his hand on his hip and he was just, ha ha. And, and then I kept walking and then. My my girlfriend at the time was like, uh, that guy was going for his gun. And I was like, really? I was like, I was just making a joke. He was like, no, nah, he was going to shoot you. He thought you were trying to rob him. I was like, oh, well, you know what? You know, I'm, I'm alive. He's alive. So Yeah, hey. Yeah, I don't. Because you pull a gun on me, you're dead. Oh, so like what happens? You're going to snatch it up and just turn the tables? Man, I'm like Steven Seagal over here. Oh, right, really? Man? Yeah. Like 90 Seagal, not now Seagal. No, right now Seagal, I'll beat your ass sitting from the seat. I'll sit down and kick your ass. That's just, I don't uh, know if Seagal could do that now. Though. That's He's, what. That's his fighting style. Crouching person, sitting <laughs> man. I believe he did a whole movie where his fighting style was uh, he he fought you from a seated position. Really? Yeah, because he... <laughs> I don't want to say it was because he's overweight, but, you know, it contributed. Really? He was like, hold on, I need to look this yeah. up. <laughs> Sitting fight foo, man. Steven Seagal. See, you're not even familiar with sit this. Fight. There's a <laughs> the sit fight. Steven Seagal movie out for a kill is so lazy he fights sitting down. Yeah, there it is. Out for a kill. Out for a kill. We need to watch that. It's so bad. So really? bad. So like, oh, bad. That might be the same uh, movie where he's seen ooh. handling the gun in a bunch of, you know, ways that a person who never handles a gun would handle uh, it. Wait, unsuspecting university professor is an unwitting accomplice in a foiled Chinese cocaine deal. Uh oh. Wrongly imprisoned, he escapes to take his revenge. Not the Chinese oh my again. God, that sounds really bad. It's like three, four out of ten. 
Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Holy sounds Jesus. Sounds about right. It's a bad movie. Uh, he started doing his own movies after Hollywood pretty much disowned him. Him and Van Damme should do a movie today. John claude You want to put John claude in the same breath that you put Steven Spielberg? Johnny C and then Steven S. They should do a big boy movie. Like, John claude is like an actual athlete. <laughs> is he still? I mean, he's like a hundred. I mean. I can't believe you said his name. Really? <laughs> John claude Van Damme? Nobody has said that name since 1992. Like Candyman? I'm just saying. Like wow. you, you could have said, uh, I don't know, Tony John. I'd still be like, wow, you're Who the old. hell is that? He was the Ong Bak guy. Ong Bak. Oh, the from Bloodsport? No. Nope. That's uh, that's going back in time a little too far. You got to come ahead probably about 12 years. No, he fought John claude in Bloodsport. Isn't that the same guy? Ong Bak. Is that a movie? That was Chung Lee. Yeah, Ong Bak. Was oh, Chung Lee. Yeah. That was Chung Lee. Yeah, absolutely. So. That was Chung Lee. I don't know. Anyways, that's all the time we've ever done. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. Ong Bak. Ong Bak. TNT. Yep.